points A and B are in HP. Okay, so point A and B are in HP. Uh, the point A is 30M in front of VP, and while B is behind the VP. Okay, so the distance between the projectors is 75mm, and the line joining the top is makes an angle of 45 degrees with x y reference line. And we need to find the distance of the point B from VP. Okay, so let us uh, shorten the question and let us uh, rewrite the question once again. Okay, so I am going to directly notate all these things. So we have two points, point A and point B. Okay, what he said, two points A and B are in HP. Whenever you find and break the question, so that is point A is in HP and point B is in HP. So point A is in HP and point B is also in HP. Next one, point A is 30 mm in front of VP. So point A is 30 mm in front in front of VP and in the same manner while B is behind VP he is saying that B is behind VP but he didn't mention the at what distance it is behind so let us consider it is X mm behind VP X mm behind VP next the distance between the projectors is 75 mm okay so projectors distance is 75 mm and the uh, and the line joining the top is uh, makes an angle of uh, 45 degrees with x y reference line okay so so let us take the uh, so let us consider this is going to be our x y reference line let us consider this is x y reference line i'm going to draw it directly okay so if we consider the is going to be our x y reference line so as per the question point a is in hp and 30 mm in front of vp in hp in the sense either here or else over here okay in hp is confirmed and he said the second part is in front of vp so in front of vp is nothing but forward so the point is going to lie over here this is the possibility this is the point a and this is going to be 30 mm in front of vp so now we have to see front view in this manner and top view from the top. So front view is going to be projected on the opposite plane that is on the XY reference line. This is going to be A dash. And if I project the top view, it is going to project over here. So this is going to be small a. Okay. So on the vertical plane, we are going to have A dash that is on the XY reference line. So this is A dash on the XY reference line. And on rotating this plane, on rotating this plane, this this distance comes downwards. Okay, so so this is going to be a, and this distance is 30 mm. Okay, and we have that uh, in the question we he already gave that the distance between the projectors is equal to 75 mm. Okay, so the distance between the projectors from here to here, the distance should be 75 mm. So now we need to draw the projector B. B is in HP. So again it is in HP and behind VP. So behind in the sense. So the point is going to lie over here. So this is point capital B. Okay. So if that is point capital B. And as is said that it is at a distance of XMM. As he didn't give the distance. Let us consider it as XMM. So if we see the front view it is going to be projected over here. So this is B dash. And if we see the top view, the top view is going to be there itself, small b. So on the vertical plan, we have the front view, b dash. So here we have b dash. And on rotating this particular plane, the, uh, the top view is going to move upwards, that is above x, y reference line. But we do not know the what is the distance that we need to take. So let us, let us draw a particular line. So the line can be of any length. Okay, so we don't know where, the, so the but the point B, that is the top view can lie anywhere over here. So, but according to the question, we have that the line joining their views, no, it's uh, line joining their top views actually. So the line joining their top views makes an angle of 45 degrees with XY, capital XY, that is our ground line. So this is the top view of, cap of A and here we are going to have the top view 
B. So the line joining the top views, okay. So if I join these top views, he, that X Y reference line which should make 45 degrees. So as we cannot uh, take any point over here, or we cannot take any point over here directly. So that if I take a point over here and I join these two things, there is no come. Okay, we cannot say that it is going to be 45 degrees over here. For example, if I take a point over here and if I take 45 degrees and I draw a line. It is not, uh, we cannot say that it is directly going to meet point here. So as there is a confusion, so let us draw a parallel line to the XY reference line at point A. So according to the geometry, whenever we have two parallel lines, any line cutting the two parallel lines is known as a transversal. The transversal makes equal inclinations with the two parallel lines. So this is the formula we are going to apply. So this is one parallel line and I am going to draw another parallel line. So the angle that comes over here will is going to be equal to the angle over here. So I will keep the protractor here and I will take an angle of 45 degrees. So keep the protractor over here. For example, keep the protractor over here and take 45 degrees. So this is going to be 45 degrees and keep the point and immediately draw, join the particular point and extend this. So here it has cut the particular point. And the angle over here it is going to be 45 degrees and angle over here it is going to be 45 degrees even okay so the point which we got over here is the small p and mention this distance whatever the distance we got we need to uh, mention this distance so x mm is equal to what is the distance we need to mention measure the distance and directly mention the distance so this is the construction of this question